Welcome to Glad Rap. Welcome to Industry Rumble 6. It is the 16th of November 2018. Promoter tonight is Bruce Glossier of Glossier Boxing in association with Mayhem Boxing. I am Benjamin Watt and alongside me I've got the one and only Isaac Savage. How's it going? Welcome, welcome Benji and great to be here. Great to be here with you and Glad Rap tonight on this Glossier card. What a night it's been so far and we are now here for the third fight of the night. The first male car, uh, first male fight of this evening. As you can see, all the boxers here will be wearing headgear, so that's for extra protection. Billy there in the blue. We've got Ra Weddy there in the red. He looks ready to go. He looks mean and keen there oh. in the purple singlet. This is going to be an absolute showdown. You know, I like a nice purple shirt. Louis K9 there in the corner. Nice to see you. He Louis. fights himself. I think he's uh, announced his retirement as well. Yeah, but we know, we all know sometimes what that means. And yes, it could be forever, but sometimes boxers get the itch to jump back in again. You just never know. As we wait for the boxes, the boxing gloves to get onto the red corner. Rad Weddy there looking as he has not obviously got headgear on yet, but he will be putting that on shortly. As the ref's out now saying, put that headgear on. It almost looked like Rad Weddy wanted to jump in without it. Get that stuck on there. You know, some people prefer not wearing headgear, but we're, obviously that's changing now. Both boys looking ready to rumble, looking in shape. I'd say just from judging uh, at the body weight at the moment, they look around light, heavy, almost cruiser. Well, I'd say cruiser. You know, they, they look tall boys, so generally the taller boys, they look skinnier, but like heavier. Probably like around the 80s, 85. Billy there in the blue, bouncing, ready to rock and roll. I'll put that purple shirt back on. Rawiti there in the purple. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a pity. I would have preferred the purple shirt to be off. What do you think, Isaac? Look, um, the only reason I can say that they may have put that back on again, just because of the similarity, and both guys are wearing black. One's got a black singlet on now, one's got a purple. It would be a little bit easier for the judges. But for whatever reason, that, that's the only one I could call off the top of my head. Now let's see what type, sort of style that these boxes come out. Rawiti there in the red and purple singlet and Billy in the blue gloves and black singlet. Both boys starting off very, very aggressively. Billy coming forward, and but Rawiti throwing a few hooks of his own. They're, they're, they're f throwing with intentions here. They need to be careful because if they get knocked down, that's it. Rawiti got a kind of peekaboo style, just holds that glove high, or glove high, uh, both gloves high, and comes forward of hooks. Billy there, a bit more of a boxer style. He must be nervous because he's not a throwing bo he's not boxing, he's brawling. Just charging forward there now, using his weight to push Billy there into the ropes. Did you trying see? Trying to manhandle him. Did you see he actually pushed? against um, Billy against the ropes before he actually stepped back. Yeah, just pure oh, aggression. There we go. At times, aggression can win the fight, and we're going to see how this unfolds. And certainly these boxes are quite aggressive. I love hugging now. Rawadi there got his mouth open already. We're only in the early stages of round one. Billy looking slightly composed bit more of a, a boxing style there, keeping that right hand high and jabbing up, but Rawiti just coming forward like a maniac. Oh no, he's in trouble. Right Rawiti hand, what a in. combo. Big rides, just throwing over the top of the guard there. This is an absolute brawl, Benji. It's very messy. It's a very messy fight. I am not complaining. I'm loving oh. this action. 
the referee needs a little bit more control of these boxes because big uppercuts oh, there just we go. holding the head coming forward Billy's in trouble he's against the ropes and Rowdy just Rowdy. pushing brawling mauling what a style certainly uh, not too much boxing technique but it's, it's working and it's effective maybe Billy's uh, headgear is actually looping left hook he actually came off the ground like David Tua oh back of the head very very unorthodox fight so far but the crowd are loving it and wow it, that round flew by it is a very messy fight I think the referee needs a bit needs better control of this fight because it could have been better yeah look the thing is though both these boys are huge as he could come in or try break it up they've already stopped themselves so I think he's doing what he can Benji given the, the variables and how how hectic this fight and pace is at this stage yeah well, it's generally, there's only a couple of reasons why it get this mess, messy. And it's either A, the referee's not doing their job right, B, the, the, um, the boxers are overly nervous and are throwing with in a kind of robotic style like uh, the red corner kind of was doing. Well, this is the difference between corporate and amateur. You know, you, you go to an amateur tournament and sometimes, you know, it's, uh, a, it's a fast pace, but it's more controlled because, yeah. the, you know, that. They've had a few fights. Sometimes it's a 20 or 30 fight. For these guys, it could be their first fight tonight. Yeah, exactly. Or C, like this could be their game. Oh, wow, did you see that? Big hooks there from Rawity. Went to go for, like, hold the uh, gloves out and just went straight into it. You know, Billy cannot take his foot off the gas. He's going to have to keep coming forward. Keep his wits about him because Rawity's just coming forward. Billy's in trouble. Oh, and there goes the towel. Too much, too soon. Rawity, too strong. And that's it. Just goes to show aggression can win, Benji. Yes, it definitely does. Maybe the sh fight could have been stopped earlier for safety reasons, but the right man won in the red corner. But aggression showed that aggression can win. After recent events as well, we've got an extra portion of safety for any fighters tonight. All fighters will be bringing headgear and if a fighter does look in trouble the fight will be called off. And I believe like there's no standing eight counts it's going to go straight into being waved off I believe. You know I've got to say it takes a lot of guts for a uh, cornerman to throw in the towel because not a lot of corner people actually do it these days. A lot of people like have too much pride to throw in that towel. And I want to give a thumbs up to the corner people there right now too. They know their boxer was in trouble. They have to stop the fight. This is about health and safety. Uh, I have to agree and disagree, Benji, because I do love a brawl. I do love a guy going till the end. However, we do have to look out for health and safety. Some would say that some fights are, are won through the person just sticking it out, but then is it in the best interest of, of the fighter and, and their uh, health and safety? Well, especially for their first fight ever, you know? I would probably be more lenient to throw in the towel if it's their first fight than compared to someone that's like in their pros. Exactly. No, that could be uh, the one thing that, that could save a life. However... We do have to have a, a precaution around our health and safety now after recent events. 